you made it to level two, deeper questions leading to deeper answers. I'm Tomas Garza, and I'm here to help you decide to transform. I'll be setting the pace for the process to support your unfolding. Learn and commit to a practice that brings simplicity and an awareness of what is ready to be released. Join me now and allow the experience of a deeper sense of love. Welcome, welcome back to another episode of Decide to Transform. I'm your host, Tomas Garza, and well, we're here at season five, and let's jump right into it today. Let's talk about something that I know people want in life. I just know it. That is miracles. Mm Mm-hmm. Yeah. So why wouldn't we jump right in and try to wrap our heads around this idea? This is beautiful. And this is one of the things that people really pay attention to in world spirituality. Miracles. It's a very attractive idea, isn't it? Some of you may know, and if you don't know, you're about to find out that I teach A Course in Miracles. This has been the foundational centerpiece of my own spiritual practice for the last nine years. And in that time, I've learned a great deal, (laughs) which is putting it mildly. Yeah, it's not often that a podcaster who does solo episodes is understated, but I just was <laughs> just then. Maybe it'll be the only time, but I just was for the record. All right. So miracles are all around us, aren't they? And when people think of miracles, they often think of someone like Yoda or Luke Skywalker raising their hand and lifting a very heavy spaceship or moving rocks, clearing a a landslide with the power of thought, right? That is often what's conceived of as a miracle here in the world. It's something possibly like levitation, making an object appear or disappear, or restoring yourself or someone to health, whereas they, they may have suffered from a disease. Maybe it was deemed incurable, maybe it wasn't, and now they're healthy. That is often seen as a miracle. And certainly we could say that if you walked into a room and someone was bending spoons, that that was miraculous. You could say if they were flying through the air and levitating, that that was miraculous. Sure, of course. And I want to point out that you could see it in a much more accessible fashion. This is what A Course in Miracles invites us to do, and I will spend plenty of time on this podcast talking about A Course in Miracles. Trust me, we'll get there. We'll spend a lot of time on that. But today, I want to talk about miracles in general and just understand that this material is coming from the Course itself, because it is A Course in Miracles. Now, When I say accessible, I mean accessible, because each and every one of us not only has the potential to be a miracle worker, we are miracle workers. You are a miracle worker. may not feel like it, and that may be the last thing that you think about, and you may think I'm completely full of shit, which is perfectly fine. But I insist, you are a miracle worker. We'll come back to accessibility here. The question is how you define it. If you define miracles as 
Luke Skywalker Jedi mind trick style levitating rocks moving a spaceship out of the swamp with the power of your own thought only the power of your own thought all right so be it then that's a miracle for you it's not super accessible is it I mean unless that's something that you go and do you know a woman at a party at my house once found out that I was a spiritual teacher and she asked me to levitate a an object on the kitchen table thinking that oh, that's the demonstra demonstration that's the demonstrable proof of, of a spiritual teacher so what did I do I just reached out with my hand and picked the thing up <laughs> all right it's levitated there you go so what's the lesson there is that miracles are much more ordinary than levitating objects. They're much more accessible than Jedi training. Okay, They're much, much more accessible. In other words, everyone can do them. So a miracle in A Course in Miracles is defined simply as a change of mind. Any shift from fear-based thoughts to loving thoughts. That's a miracle. Any shift from ego clinging or thoughts of a separate sense of self, any shift away from that toward unity, toward your higher self, toward God, for example, is a miracle. But you make that shift right? Each and every one of us makes that shift in the present moment. It's any change of our mind from darkness, death, suffering, to light, life, peace, love. Any switch is a miracle. Meaning it's 100% totally accessible to you right here, right now. And it is 100% yours for the choosing. Now, you may not go on to walk on water. You may not go on to raise the dead. You may not go on to heal the sick. You may not go on to take one fish and one loaf of bread and multiply it times many thousand. None of those things, none is necessary for you to work miracles in your own life. Which, by the way, is working miracles in other people's lives too. Why? There's no separation of any kind at all. So in this sense, each and every one of us is a miracle worker and we are capable, fully capable of miracles right now. So what does this mean? It means expect them, especially with this all encompassing definition. When I first read this definition in A Course in Miracles, it came to me as a profound relief, and I just had always known. That's really where I was coming from at the time, is it clarified for me and reaffirmed something that I had always felt. That I had never felt that there were certain people in the world that were so-called miracle workers and the rest of us were not. That never made sense. So if you've ever found yourself in that position, you're not alone. You're clearly not alone in that. So I just want to offer this more expansive, more accessible definition of miracles because this is something that each and every one of us has a right to. And it's something that we, furthermore, can choose for ourselves right now. So I invite you to do just that. Now, as I've mentioned here, I will be back with further episodes talking about 
A Course in Miracles in general and some of its operational principles, even some of its more specific lessons, because they're germane and they're directly relevant to all of world spirituality. There will be plenty of information about all of that. And I want to just leave you here with the knowledge that you are a miracle worker. Each and every one of us is. And if this isn't a message of hope and happiness, I don't know what is. Right? I don't know what is. So take this to heart. And if you're pondering it and you doubt it, that's good. No problem. My goal today was to get you to consider it. Mission accomplished. See, as a teacher, my job is simply to turn the microphone on, or in some instances to turn the video camera and the microphone on, and talk and teach. I never know what is going to come out of my mouth exactly. But what I do know for sure is that you will hear and resonate with precisely the message that you're meant to hear and resonate with right now, today. And the fact that you are a miracle worker, I hope serves for you as a message of deep and profound hope and personal empowerment. As always, guys, feel welcome to email me with any questions about the show or requests for topics. I will always take those. It's Tomas, T-O-M-A-S, at TomasGarza.com. So thank you, as always, for joining me. And we'll be back with some more brief but hard-hitting spiritual-related themes here on Decide to Transform. Thank you so much for joining me.